Mary Louise Woolsey, 148 Little River Road. I've come to feel from this new perspective that the Budget Committee was used as a guinea pig last year, and I want to explain to you why. <coughs> Attorney Gerald told you on March 6th that there were 50 emails in which opinions were ex expressed, the Budget Committee emails, and three emails in which there were responses. I just want to give you a quick uh, sequence. March 10th, just before I stepped down as the uh, chairman of the Budget Committee, I sent a 91A request to Mark Gerald to make the records <laughs> available of the um, 91A request that he made to Budget Committee members for their emails. On March 16th, he responded to me and he said he was not going to formulate a legal opinion. On March 24th, I was in the building and I bumped into Mark and we had a fairly lively in-person conversation. And uh, I did ask him to confirm that every piece of email print was going to be in that box. March 28th, Mark Gerald sent me an email saying that it was okay for me to inspect the box of email printouts from the Budget Committee on Friday the 31st of March at 9.30 a.m. And Mr. Um, Henderson and I did report at that time and went through the box. Uh, I sent a 91, my third and final 91A uh, request to Mark Gerald on the 30th of March asking him if he would flag the several emails that you have shown during the course of your review. And he emailed back to me and said this new request is essentially asking me again to formulate a legal opinion that has not already been reduced to writing. 91A does not require creation of new documents. And that is correct, but I'm not at this time aware of an actual formal written um, document from Attorney Gerald. But what caught my eye was your meeting last Monday night. And <coughs> Chairman Waddell asked Mark Gerald, and these are quotes directly from your minutes, you have told them and they do know which emails were considered to be in violation. Now I'm assuming, Mr. Chairman, that when you said you have told them, you meant the members of the Budget Committee. Mark Gerald responded and he said, I have given the board the interim verbal report and was going to give specific examples at a training session. They gave emails, they, I assume being the Budget Committee, to this board, which I looked at a portion of. Not very good grammar, but I get the gist. Chairman Waddell then said, do you feel you could just say which ones were in violation without going into a whole meeting? Mark Gerald said, I think examples can be provided. There is actually an outstanding 91A request. Mary Louise, I'm going to let you go over a little bit, but you're at three minutes. I know, but so I'm, I'm trying to go fast. I've just got a little up, bit. Because we're going to have to end. Uh, an outstanding 91A request that I intend to respond to in a week or so. And Chairman Waddell, you said, so those will be done. Attorney Gerald said, right. <coughs> and then you said, right. Does that mean that you are of the understanding that Attorney Gerald has given any information to the Budget Committee? Because he did not. And he has not. And I've not seen anything. Okay, you got to ask you to wrap it up. And the training is not my focus. If we were used, and if that collection of emails was used for a training project, I think that's a very sorry excuse for harassing the Budget Committee. And you do need to allow individuals who are running <laughs> committees and commissions and boards, you do need them to have access to counsel through the NHMA. It's okay, very unfair. Thank you.